off. I get here about 20 past seven. I'm usually one of the first ones here along with some of the other girls. We unlock everything and then I normally go out haying and feeding, which consists of checking all the horses, checking the troughs, checking the fields. And if I'm not doing that, we're catching in, getting horses in ready for lessons. Um, by the time we've done that, it's probably about half eight. Um, and then I begin to get the horses ready that I need to school for the morning. Lab and house stables is different largely because of the way the horses are kept. And they all live out 24-7, so they end up much physically healthier. Um, they tend to eat with their heads down on the floor, so they're stretching over their top line and relaxing their muscles in between the lessons that they work in. Um, and mentally they're a lot happier because they're out with their friends, forming relationships with other horses in the herd. It's very important to me that all horses live out 24-7. Um, we're a very small country, very overpopulated, um, particularly in the southeast, and um, it's very difficult to, to find an environment like this where you can actually keep horses out all year round. Um, as soon as land became available, um, I jumped straight on it for that reason. I love it all to be honest, I love working outside and even though we do work long hours it goes so quickly, I mean everyone's lovely here. I really obviously I enjoy the bit I do with getting the horses in, schooling them and getting them ready, it's just nice to see how much they progress and come on and get more confident. I enjoy teaching like um, the liveries and the senior pony club stuff and I love taking them across country, doing a bit of show jumping in the field, just seeing them get better really. people who want to really learn how to ride and ride well. That's what we're very good at. So we try and get people into a weekly program with the same instructor and say if they're in a group they'll be the same peer group, same age, same level. All right so toes up and when you're ready sit in that saddle. Yeah good girl well done. Everyone follows a uh, clearly defined uh, lesson structure plan which we are constantly evaluating and improving and we do get very good progress. People here quite often become better riders faster than, than those that have actually got their own horses and ponies. And you're going to make sure that if you think his head's going to go down, what are you going to do with the reins? Shorten them, good girl. There's a, a fairly large contingency, but certainly not all, will move on into horse ownership. They often start back with us here too. Uh, don't have to, but they can do. We normally, from that point, get them into competitions or into professional training, um, wherever they want to go, really. We just, we're, we're grassroots, we start everyone off on the right line. After the clients have ridden, primarily I'd like them to feel inspired to come back again and uh, continue with their lesson. Also I want them to feel challenged so that they leave perhaps knowing that the next lesson they've got things to work on and things to improve, but also that they've achieved something in their lesson and also that they've had the chance to bond with the horse they're riding, which I think is important rather than just hopping on strange horses you, you don't know. They can make friends with other clients that are perhaps in their group lesson or on the yard at the same time as, the, as them. So it becomes a much more friendly environment as well as a place they come to learn to ride. I want it to be a magical experience to them. I mean, any business wants to give a customer a good experience. If they don't, they shouldn't be in business. But I mean, we want to give them something extra, something special, a thrill, um, a buzz, um, that you know, they can't really get anywhere else. I'm Eve, I'm 14 years old and this is my pony Rocky. He loves it here. He makes friends with all these ponies, he loves the staff, and he loves his treats. <laughs> I've been riding at Lavent House Stables since I was seven years old, from level one to level eight. The people here are really nice, constantly pushing me on to go further and making me feel confident. Some days I'm not able to come because I obviously have school commitments to do, so the staff here look after Rocky really, really well and I know that he's in safe hands, constantly being looked after, having his water changed, having his rug put, taken off and put on, and fed really well, and I'm just really happy with all the support that they've given us. For the staff here at Lavent House Stables, they tend to be young people, it's the nature of the job, it's um, physically very hard work. Another big kick, Lippy. Yeah, well done. Particularly suits graduates or young people coming out of education as a place to start. So we want people who want to learn and want to improve. They need to be team players too, that's important to us. We all have to work together and of course they have to love the horses but that one normally comes without any uh, a problem at all. We built like a friendly working relationship and it 
just a nice atmosphere for all the staff to work in. We all get on, we all do stuff in work together outside of work and we just socialise and this is a nice environment. I don't know how like else to put it but this is a nice working environment to work in. Here at Lucky House Stables our catchphrase is where people and horses thrive. We live by it. Customer service is obviously of number one priority um, along with obviously animal welfare. We're constantly trying to maintain standards with both the horses and the clients and the relationship between both. That's what we want. It's not just about customers, it's not just about horses, it's about anyone that comes here, whether it's an employee, whether it's a supplier, you know, whoever it is. We want everyone to enjoy being here.